Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa and I am in peak week. So here we go. I never thought I'd be able to say that. Um, what is peak week? Peak week is your week before your show, the seven days out. So, um, uh, last week I was kind of MIA. I didn't record a whole lot of content, honestly. Um, I physically didn't feel too bad most of the week. Um, but I just mentally like needed, it just felt like too much effort to film, honestly. And edit. So, sorry, we're going to have this talk while I'm breaking for lunch here. But I wanted to make sure I still documented stuff leading up to this week because, like, this is where things really start getting interesting. So, I just need to do it. Um, anyway, so I know in some of the previous episodes we went over some of the test loads that um, my coach and I tried the last two weekends um the first weekend did not go kind of as well as we hoped um I ended up just having um stomach aches and stuff like that we did it again and um much improved in terms of how I executed so based on looking at those when I did the re the refeed, the reload, whatever you want to call it. Um, being more cognizant of my fiber and keeping my vegetables down and spreading my food out a little bit better. I actually looked better the very next day versus two days later. So as we were talking about my plan for peak week, which I'm going to go over with you in a second, um, we're going to sort of go with the assumption that as long as I do the same thing, which is keep the fiber low and the veggies low and simple carbs, that we will probably load even more prior to the show um, and time that out. So basically he gave me a, um, he gave me my plan. I'm going to run through it with you. It's like several pages long here um I will give you the clips notes though but I just I cannot believe like seeing it in writing peak week plan is like holy fuck like I've been working on this for so long you know it's just it's crazy um and everyone just keeps asking like oh are you excited and I can't say that I'm excited like, anxious? Yes. Excited? Not yet. Um, and part of that, I think, is like going into the unknown. I don't, I don't like going into things unknown, and I already am a high anxious person. Um, I wouldn't call it nervous, like just, um, I don't know what I don't know. And that makes me anxious. I don't know what else to call it. So, anyway. Um, but I've definitely noticed myself over the past week, um, kind of like getting into a, a mental zone. And the best I can describe it is like, what reminds me of before I would go into a match for volleyball or something like that was... Um, you know, when you get hyper focused, like none of the other stuff around you matters. You, it, I don't mean that in a bad way, but just like you're dialed the fuck in, kind of like bef before a game in the locker room during warm ups. Like it's just a different vibe. The only thing is that like. It's not a few hours, like it's all day, every day for several days. So 
um, peopling is hard. Like I'm an introvert already. So peopling is difficult for me because it sucks the energy out of me. And like we had Easter yesterday, which I'll sort of clip. I had every intention of filming, but so many things went sideways. I, it's a long story and not my story to tell because um, I want to respect somebody else's privacy, but it didn't work out. Um, but normally like I love when people ask questions about nutrition and fitness and stuff like that. And I get all excited to talk about it. And... I just, it's too much effort to dive into and I don't want to, I just don't want to. I I don't want to be rude or anything, but it's like, can we just talk about this later? And yeah, I don't know. So there's that. But anyway, anyway, so Here was a plan. Oh, shit. God. Um. Sorry, no crumbs left behind, motherfuckers. Okay. So, I'm in peak week now. So, last week, following our last test load, we went to my normal macros. Instead of doing the refeed on a Saturday over the weekend, we did the refeed on... Thursday no we did the refit on Friday because we wanted to have the full we wanted to get back to my normal macros and deplete before we load for the actual show so we did the refeed on Friday and that was my normal refeed which was the 160 I'm sorry the 130 protein the 160 carb and the 40 fat so it's pretty minimal um quite honestly but it's just enough and Sure as shit, my weight dropped the next day. So you can tell my body is like, yes, feed me. So, um, we did that. Then we went back to normal macros on Saturday. And the bed of my normal macros since it's today is Monday, by the way. Um, we're keeping my water and my sodium even. So we're not making adjustments to my water and sodium. Um, a lot, I know that there's a lot of stereotypes about like playing around with those during, you know, the days leading up to your show. And I don't know if there's other, I mean, obviously there's every coach does their stuff different and stuff like that, but that seems to be more of like an older thing to do. Or maybe more with like the true bodybuilders, like the big men. But we're keeping my water and sodium just basically even. We don't want to dip it low. We don't want to dip it high. We're just trying to keep it baseline so that it's not a variable in how we're looking um saturday i did my last normally program workout it was an upper one he had me take sunday as a rest day my rest day is normally wednesday but this week i will <clears throat> i will not be taking wednesday off so i took off yesterday which was sunday and we're keeping my steps the same for now so then Today, today, um, I had my first like peak week workout and it was the only one that's truly like lower body focused. Um, so again, my normal macros, 140 protein, 90 carb, 35 fat. I did the lower body workout, which we had me drop my loads by like 20, 30%. I wanted to make sure that none of it was anything near uh, close to failure, basically like a deload. We don't want to cause any inflammation. We don't absolutely don't want to cause any soreness. So um, that was, even though I dropped the loads and stuff like that, it actually was not as easy as I expected it to be. I think because I'm just literally out of gas. So there was that. Um, steps are the same for today and I had to send my updated, um, like weights and pictures just like normal for my normal Monday check-ins. So 
that's that. I'm looking at my notes because like I literally can't remember all this. So tomorrow, Tuesday, again, I'm gonna do the same macros as normal, same water, same sodium, same steps. Um, I have, <clears throat> sorry, a peak week upper day. Same thing with a deload, you know, dropping my weights 20 and 30%, stuff like that, no failure. So, then, sorry, I don't know what I'm trying to eat when I do this. Then Wednesday, I will be three days out. So Wednesday is when we start our loading. So um, that's gonna look just like my normal refeed macros, the 130 protein, 160 carb, 40 fat just to kind of get the process started same water same sodium um and a different like i would call it like a upper like push day so no legs um just some upper work um no failure I have to send my body weights and pictures on Wednesday instead of my normal check-in day on Thursday. And I get to decrease my steps from 11,000 to 10,000, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's gonna feel like a breath of fresh air, probably. Or, I don't know, I may have to limit myself. I don't know, we're gonna see how it goes. So, he wants to see pictures that day. And then Thursday, he's gonna wanna see pictures after that initial load. And we're going to go with the higher um, load day that we had from the test loads we did the other two weekends. So that, again, is like 130 protein, 230 carb, 40 fat. Again, don't follow these. You're not, you're not me. You're not in bodybuilding prep. Even if you were, everyone's different. Don't even try. Okay. Water and sodium the same on Thursday. But that one. I do a workout that's at like 50%, like just a quick circuit, um, not to exceed like 30 to 40 minutes. Nothing should come close to failure. Again, we're just getting blood flow and that's it. We don't wanna cause any damage to the muscle. Um, I keep my steps lower at that 10,000. And then Friday, we're not sure. We're gonna see how I look. I send pictures again on Friday morning. We're gonna see how I look and then we're gonna make some decisions based on that. Friday, I do have a really quick workout, again, just to bring blood to the muscles, but it's an easy circuit, 50%. And this I'm only supposed to spend like 20 to 30 minutes on. So very much dialed back. He said he'll probably also have me send pictures throughout the day that day. So, um, steps, he said 10,000-ish. Don't go over it. A little bit lower is fine. Um, yeah. So then, Saturday, show day, I would obviously take pictures again in the morning and send it to him so he can make any last-minute adjustments. Um, But then he gave me very like seven hours before stage do this, four to five hours before stage do this, two to two and a half hours before stage do this, and then 30 minutes before, and then between judging and awards. Very specific um, in terms of protein would be even, carbs would be even, fat would be a little bit higher first thing in the morning and then go down. Um, cause it'll take too long to, um, digest beyond that. He told me to have some like Gatorade or candy available, um, uh, for any like quick acting carbs in case we need to give me a bunch like quickly. Um, and then for post show, he basically said like a reasonable restaurant meal is fine. You know, no binging or anything like that, but an entree at a restaurant, perfectly fine. Um, I do have another show in two weeks, so we can't like fall off the wagon and go crazy. So have the restaurant meal, get a good night's sleep, back on the wagon the next day. Um, 
we will decide obviously like what to do with my macros and work out the next day but I'm at least just anticipating to go back to my normal you know low macros and go back to my normal workout so we shall see um so that's that what I want to do uh just because again this is a lot so I'm putting all I'm keeping this with me at all times just because I don't trust myself anymore um but I I'm just trying to take care of I'm trying to pre-plan as much as I can to to keep all as much stress off of myself as I get closer to it which again has been difficult given that I have a family and blah 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 so clearly I'm still going to work this week I am going to be off on Friday the day before the show because I have to get my workout in. I do leave the house by like 8 o'clock, 8.15. And then I'm actually going to my normal hair guy to have him do a blowout um, for us to just be able to touch it up for stage the next day so I don't have to do hair with um, the uh, show vendor people just because I, I don't know. I don't want to look crazy. So, um... I have a whole like list of stuff that I, I've pulled together from different people's like YouTubes or crap, Google searches, stuff like that, um, for recommended like show day things to pack. Just crap you forgot like band-aids and eye drops and you know, shit like that. But I will do a whole clip or maybe an episode, I don't know. Um, what all I have packed but I'm like in the in between where I could pack the stuff I'm not going to use between now and then but like I can't pack everything because I'm going to use it and then yeah so that might be a separate episode once I'm like fully packed but yeah um let's see what else oh so hmm I'll touch on that other stuff in another clip, but yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan for peak week. It's always subject to change, though, depending on how the pictures look, but very interesting. Um, when you are this lean, like, you can literally <laughs> see when you've eaten meals. Like, you can see differences, and, like, I never understood that, because I was like, bullshit. Like, you can't see when a regular person... You can. You can see when I've, you know, between morning and night when I've had water or not, and like when I've had food or not, definitely differences. So, yeah, it's kind of interesting. I'm trying to take you guys along the way as much as I can, um, even when I don't feel like it, just because like this is this is the stuff I'm trying to document and the interesting things, I guess. So where stuff's changing. So I'm going to try. Thank you guys so much already for watching. There's going to be more clips, obviously, but in the meantime, like and subscribe. Throw me some love in the comments. All right. Next clip. situation in my bathroom I want to show you guys some things but this is a total mess um the hair dryer uh fun fact I don't know if I put this in another video I just finished my posing check-in and I'm too fucking cold so I run the blow dryer while I do it um <laughs> to stay warm so there's that anyway um that's a cat I got my angel competition bikinis blanket that she likes to sit on up here but I picked up some things so I didn't originally get this. I was fine with the suit being in little baggies, but yeah, 
uh, I just decided to get it just to keep it safe. And because I've got more than, you know, I got three pieces because it's a crossover suit, I just wanted to protect them. So I got a suit case, literally, from Angel Competition Bikinis. It has a cute little purple, which actually is great and it matches their little bag. Um, and I ordered a couple things they put, when they shipped it, they put in here. So I got a sports bra, hold on. Yeah, I sure did have to use my teeth. So I got a sports bra. It was actually on sale because uh, yeah, girl loves sale stuff. And it's actually, um, I don't know if you can see this, but it's like a strappy. It's got little strappies here and in the back. So that's super cute. I'm gonna have to show you guys what that looks like on. Um, and then, let me, let me gonna do this with one hand, let's see. Um, I got a little like crop top shirt, also on sale. Cause again, like no one wants to pay full price, so. Also, by the way, if you use my ambassador code, Lisa W, you're going to get 10% off. So it's like getting sale all the time. So it's a cute, cute little crop top. Super, super soft. Oh my God. Like, okay. Um, super, super soft. Let's see. Let's hold it up here if I can do this with the phone. So it's like a flowy crop, um, but with like high-waisted leggings. I think it actually isn't too bad. Um, and then it actually sent me a booty band for free with my order. So I'm so excited about that because mine's getting gross. Um, and I have a few other things to show you, but I got some potential show jewelry. Which, shit, <laughs> I better get this figured out because I'm like 11 days. So a uh, big old ring, that's adjustable. I got some other stuff off Amazon. Don't mind my, that's clean. It's clean underwear. It didn't fit. It was too big. So anyway, um, I got Bikini Bite to try to help keep the backside of my suit in place. And I also got um, carpet tape, which it's a whole thing, but it comes highly recommended. Actually, um, you just slice it down the middle and I don't know, I'll try it out. And I got from Protan... Oh, I actually had gotten the bikini bite from Protan too. Then I got this show shine, which is like right before you go on stage, you put this on. It's basically like putting cooking oil on yourself, I guess. Um, so we'll see about that. But I wanted to show you guys those. And then there's this situation. Um, I have my one pair of sparkly heels, which are around here somewhere. Um, but anyway, I wanted to get the Olympian 2.0s. They're a half inch shorter and they're strappy. There's no, um, ankle strap, but it's a double, oh my God. Okay. Hold on. Let me get out of this. It's a double foot strap though. So you have the freedom to just slide them on. See that? Um, but there's enough to hold you in. So I felt actually, I just posed in them. I felt really secure. And because I was used to that height already, um, it was really easy transition. I did size down. I bought size nine and size eight because, um, I had read that you should size down possibly if you have a narrow foot and I have a super narrow foot. So I have nine in my other ones, but I got an eight in this one. And I think I'm going to stick with that. It feels more secure. Um, so I'm going to send the nines back, but I'm really excited. This way I have a backup pair. Should anything happen, I feel much better about having a backup pair. Because the last thing that you need is for like a buckle or a heel to break. And then like, whatever. That's my child. Hi, we have to go to tennis. I know we have to go to tennis. I have one minute. One minute. I'm going to... Watch it, go. I'm gonna put some clothes on. I gotta go, but I wanted to show you guys that stuff. All right, peace out. Okay, well, so I don't know what video I'm gonna put this in, and the lighting's terrible. But, um, it is the Friday before Easter. I am off today. My mom is in town and 
and she's hanging out with the kids. So I'm eight days out. I need to start, like take care of some shit because I'm working next week, obviously. So I had a, did my last CrossFit did my last CrossFit workout this morning. Drove straight from CrossFit to the airport to pick her up. Brought her home. Eight. Did some client check-ins. Then she took the kids a couple of places. I went to the chiropractor. Then I was like, crap, I'm going to need to get my brows done. So I went and got my brows. And then I was like, okay, well, I need to pick up a few things based on the peak week plan my um, coach gave me. So I stopped at Target. Target was fucking insane. Like, the line for checkout went all the way back around through the health section. It was so stupidly ridiculous. Um, also, fun fact, I left the house without my, without any form of payment. So I had no driver's license, no credit card. I always keep some money in the car in case of emergency. Um... And luckily, I had already I had prepaid sessions with my Cairo, and I have a card on file at my brow place. But um, I stopped at the bank, and I was like, I don't want to drive home. It's like a half hour. So I stopped at the bank. They would let me take out up to $100 of my verified stuff, whatever. So I go to Target, and I have to just get the essentials, which is very hard at Target. Um, because I was going to get my nails done. So... I get carded at Target for NyQuil. Can we just can we just sit with that for a second? First of all, why are we carding people for NyQuil? I don't get carded if I get it at Walgreens. Why the fuck am I getting carded at Target? Second, I'm old. So, okay. Um so they took it away. Fine. Whatever. It actually ended up working out for the best because I barely had enough to cover my Target stuff and my nails. So then I go to the nail place and I need to get my toes and my hands done. And this is basically for my show. So I want it done properly. Well, apparently I wasn't the only motherfucker who decided to get their nails done before Easter. It was so fucking crowded in there, and I got this guy, I felt so bad, but like, I don't think he knew what the fuck he was doing. Or maybe there was a language barrier or both, but like, he was fine with the pedicure, and then we were looking at the color, and I wanted a very like nude, not super opaque color, and the color I picked out... I was like, well, let me see it on one of the toes. And he painted all the toes. I don't know. So, and I was like, eh, I don't know. It's my toes. Like, whatever. And I was just going to let it go. And then he's like, okay, so same color for your hands. I was like, no. No, I want a nude for my hands. Like, I want it to look like this picture. And he was like, so then he went and gets, like, his manager or something like that. Um, his manager goes and get like gets the color wheel thing again and says I have to pick another one out and I'm like well but I don't know which one's gonna whatever so I was like okay well can you go get these two and let me see them like whatever so while I'm looking at like I'm literally I don't know I was just not paying attention so I'm looking at him he starts taking the polish off my toes and I don't realize it till it's all off and I was like uh, what so I guess he thought he had to redo it and I was like Oh my god I feel so bad so I'm like well what's done is done so um we figure out a color I have him do that <sighs> and then I was like oh well maybe I'll get somebody different for my hands because again like this is my show day nails so like I wanted chrome I wanted to do glitter um <sighs> yeah so he's you know, he cut them down. He was filing them and he was like, so like this? I'm like, no, coffin. And he's like, so like this? And I'm like, no, more angle. And I see the manager and I'm like, 
you know? And he comes over and he's like, a show. So he does it perfect, you know? And I would <laughs> go to him. I was like, I'm really sorry. He's trying so hard. I go, but I have a show next week. And he's like, I will do the chrome. I will, I will come and do the chrome when it's time. I'm like, okay, fine. So. The scar, like, he fucking was tearing up my cuticles. Like, I'm bleeding on this one. And when you put that under the UV light, that fucking hurts. And they use alcohol wipe. Like, I don't know. So, anyway, the manager ends up coming over at the end. He does. So, the regular guy started doing the glitter. And the guy came over to check. And he's like, no. So, (laughs) he basically took over. And took the glitter off, redid the glitter, then did the chrome and whatever. I was like, I am so sorry. I feel, I'm like, he was trying so hard. I go, it would have been fine if I would, didn't have a show coming, but like, I need this to look how I want it. You know, he's like, no, 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 no. I'm like, I'll tip you well. Like, don't, I don't want him to get in trouble or anything, but I felt like such a Karen. I mean, I guess I was a Karen, so, but I had to be selfish this time. Normally, I'm like, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. But and I almost did that, like, but it's not fine. I showed him exactly what I wanted, and I was paying for it, and like, whatever. So, Lord have mercy. But by the time I paid for that and um, the Target and gave him a decent tip, I literally had five dollars off. So. Good thing I got carded on the night well because I wouldn't have afforded it and that would have been really bad if I was that bitch and <laughs> I didn't have the money. <sighs> yeah. So anyway, brows. I gotta shave my whole body again. Exfoliate the fuck out of my body every single day now and uh, get my highlights done tomorrow. Yeah. It's uh, coming together, I guess. All right, so this is the reality here. I'm going to walk you guys through my Easter. Um, We already did baskets. Clearly nothing for me, but um, I had my normal breakfast. We're going to head out to church. But I'm showing you this because um, I tried. I tried to wear decent clothes because, you know, it's Easter. I tried black stretchy pants, the smallest ones I had. I tried everything um they're all too big so hey we chose our fanciest active wear because there is no point in buying clothes at this size because we ain't gonna be at this size but it is what it is anyway
the worst peak week vlogging ever. Sorry. Um, I'm currently three days out. It's April 12th. I am sitting here at my daughter's first tennis match. She's very excited about it. Um, so I had a minute while I'm waiting for hers to start. going when you're in prep. Shit still happens. Um, you know, there's still birthdays, there's still anniversaries, there's still weddings. There's all that and there's also like the unexpected shit. Most I can say is there, um, there's a family member that has a serious situation. That's that. Um, yeah. But I guess my point is, sorry, I'm like spacing out. Um, but my point is, I could have used this as a 100%, I guess, valid excuse to fall off the wagon, to go face first into a dessert or chips just throw my hands up and say, fuck it, I deserve it because I'm stressed out, or my day, my day didn't go as planned, so I didn't get to do this, or I was busy, so my steps didn't get done, or my workout didn't get done, or I didn't eat my right foods or meals, like, whatever. Like, I could have made any excuse, and probably anyone would have said, like, that makes sense, it's probably justified, but I didn't. I have still hit target not because I'm special not because I'm better than anyone else none of that like because I'm just fucking determined and I guess that's the point I'd like to make to anyone you know I, not if you're a contest prep necessarily but just like regular lifestyle people trying to improve their <sighs> habits and you know you're on a health journey with a goal like this shit happens so are you going to let this shit derail you every time or are you going to figure it the fuck out you have to be able to pivot you have to have a plan b a plan c and a plan d and sometimes you have to think out of the box and sometimes you have to do things you don't want to do and sometimes you have to do shit when you're tired get over it get the fuck over it you have to keep going one foot in front of the other and I can tell you like this can be very distracting and this is why I guess vlogging has sort of gone to a lower priority list I'm sorry but my family's more important sorry not sorry um, I love you guys but it's my family um, one thing and that's like literally the only thing I've been doing is okay what what do I need to do right now what's right in front of me one thing at a time one hour at a time one minute at a time sometimes 
for sure one day at a time. Don't focus on the landslide. Whatever. One foot in front of the other. You can compartmentalize. Pull back from the shit that doesn't add value. Pull back from social media. Unless that's a little your job. Pull back from YouTube. I'm still going to be here, right? I had to pull back from recording, even though this is supposed to be such an exciting week. But I have to put my priorities first. Above my contest and all that. And I can maintain the stuff, but I can't maintain all of it. So the little extra shit had to have a pin put in it. And that's just the way it is. So. Sorry about that. Um, current status. Today was my first um, start of loading my carbs. So I did progress pictures this morning. Um, I was almost at a new late, new low, pretty close. My last low on was on Saturday it was 122.6 that was my lowest so far and this morning was 122.8 so pretty dang close um, I'm deloading my workouts which is actually harder for me to do because I'm so used to putting in the work and having high intensity and doing all the things and it's hard for me to not because I feel like I'm being lazy so, you know, dropping the weights I'm using in the gym, dropping my steps. So today was my first drop in steps from 11,000 down to 10,000. And I'm feeling like, and I'm increasing my food. So it's, I feel like I'm undoing all my work. But again, it's not a fucking dieting contest. This is to make me look badass on stage. So in order to do that, I got to fill my muscles back up with some food and let them get rid of inflammation so I just have to keep reminding myself of why I have these targets just hit the target follow the rules hit the target um, so anyway my uh, this first day is what my previous refeeds have been on the the normal weekends which is I don't remember what the calories are somewhere around 1500 but um, 130 protein 160 carbs and 40 fat and then tomorrow we're gonna do uh, increasing carbs just like we did with my practice loads. So it'll be 130 protein, 230 carb, and 40 fat. And he thinks Friday we're gonna give me even more, but I have to do progress pictures tomorrow morning. And then I do progress pictures Friday morning, and then he will make some decisions based on how I'm looking. And he said he'll probably have to do progress pictures um, a couple times on Friday. Friday just to see how my body's responding so we don't go too far or undercut it or I don't know, whatever. So that's that. Um, I spent some time packing some essentials when I had a minute and stuff like that. So I will go through probably not until I get to the hotel just because I don't know when I'm going to have time to record and I don't want to undo it all. Um, but maybe when I unpack everything, I will show you what I packed. And we'll go from there. I will try to at least cover the highlights. But good news is this is only my first show, so uh, I will have at least two more peak weeks that hopefully I can record and document better. We'll see. So anyway, that's the update right now. Okay, so I wasn't able to capture this in the moment, but um I will insert the video of what I did get. I was in a huge time crunch trying to get to a last minute emergency meeting at work. So I was eating my oatmeal in the car and there were some things that happened that went down with the oatmeal. So hang tight, this is the aftermath. Um, so this is my messy ass car because I'm a mom and that's what happens. So the oatmeal was sitting on here that I thought I was holding with my elbow and it took flight and this is what's left of the oatmeal in my car um, yeah. 
so this is my carb up day, my first larger carb up day, my 230 carbs. I was so excited to get a double serving of my 100 calorie oats. And um, when they spilled, there were some choice words that uh, went down. But um, I think we've reached an all new low in my life because they were already measured. And I have to be really precise right now. So decisions had to be made. And I may or may not have grabbed handfuls of oatmeal off of the floor of my car and eaten them. I tried to just grab the stuff that was on top because those floor mats haven't been cleaned all year. So I grabbed the stuff on top thinking like maybe there's not anything or as much stuck to them and there was definitely something crunchy in one of those bites. So I'm just putting that behind me and uh, we've reached an all time low. <laughs> eating handfuls of oatmeal off of my dirty ass car floor. So if you think I have my shit together, you are horribly mistaken. Yeah.